and welcome to Koh Hai in uh, Thailand. It's a bit of a different location for a guitar lesson uh, today but I thought it'd be quite cool those of you uh, in not quite such a paradise a setting can enjoy a guitar lesson and a cool view at the same time. So while I'm out here I thought I'd do a couple of guitar lessons and this is one of them uh, based on the blues. Um, now there are tons of lessons on the blues that are already available but I was trying to think of um, how I go about it, which is slightly different to how most guitarists approach <coughs> how most guitarists approach the blues. Um, you're going to need to learn three different scales, and that's what I'm going to teach you first: the three scales that you're going to use for improvisation. Um, the reason being is the blues uses three different chords. Um, usually, they're all dominant chords if you're playing a certain type of blues. Um, we're going to be playing an A dominant. D dominant seventh and an E dominant seventh. So those three chords, I'll put the shapes up so that you can see what they look like. They're the shapes that we're going to use. Now to best represent those chords, if you're thinking like a jazz musician, um, you would use the mixolydian mode for all of those. What I'd like to do is I use the, the normal pentatonic minor scale, the one that you should be familiar with if you're following sort of blues lessons the A minor pentatonic over the first chord, along with the bluesy licks. The second chord, the D chord, and the E chord, we're going to use the mixolydian modes. And what happens when you do that, you best represent the chord, and it sounds much more like you're reflecting the blues chords, rather than just sticking to just one scale throughout the whole chord progression, which does sound cool. This is something slightly different and gives you a bit of an edge and a bit of, um, a, bit of a difference in your playing. So let me teach you this, the scale positions in each shape and then I'll just show you how you can combine them. Okay, the first position scale shape that you're going to use, you should be very familiar with, it's the A minor pentatonic, or the, um, well, with the blues notes, the A minor pentatonic blues scale. The second scale is going to be the D mixolydian scale. Now you might not be familiar with this if you're a beginner guitarist, but it's worth learning these three scale shapes all together. This is the D mixolydian. mixolydian scale we've got a dog joining us random stray um, the final one is the E mixolydian scale uh, and the position that we're going to be using is based around the same fret as where the E lands on the seventh fret <clears throat> sounds like this okay now the key to this for this to sound pretty cool, is to combine all the three scales when the chords change. Now, if you know the 12 bar blues, if you don't, check out my website, rexpearson.com, and it's got the, um, 
the beginner guitar course and you'll find there's a section on the 12 bar blues on there which will teach you the chords and the way the structure of a 12 bar blues now I was playing the dominant seventh chords then it changes to the D over that first chord the entire chord just you improvise in the a minor pentatonic scale with the blues notes changes to the D, this is the difference between um, using the same scale throughout and then changing scale. I'm going to be using the D mixolydian. Back to the pentatonic minor. Then we've got the E, which I'll use the mixolydian. Then the D mixolydian. And then finally, you go back to the A minor pentatonic scale. Now, the main thing to, to think about when dealing with this is there is a lot of information to take in, and it's very difficult when, you, when you're a beginner guitarist to switch scales from one to the other. So you really do need to know those three shapes really clearly before you attempt to improvise over them. The second part that's really difficult is to feel where the chords would change best thing to do is to count your beats and bars and to play the chord progression a couple of times, just the chords, until you feel how long you're on each chord for before you change. And then obviously it's about improvising so that you're fitting the chord changes to the right scales. If you can get to that stage that would be fantastic. The next part after that is to be able to improvise flowing lines from one scale into the other rather than just sort of going because you can hear I'm sort of stopping and starting in between each one rather than actually playing a smooth flowing line. If I play a smooth line uh, from the part where it will go hear the difference. You should be able to hear that it's following the chords much better than if I just stuck to the A minor pentatonic scale. It's a cool way to approach the blues, it's a different way to approach the blues than to what other lessons out there might be teaching you and uh, it will give you a slightly unique edge when you're improvising and give you a lot more than just a pentatonic minor scale. If you want to take it even further, then you've got to explore the different positions that you can go up and down the neck using those three scales, switching between them. Think of it like a jigsaw puzzle for each chord and then uh, it'll give you that edge and give you a lot more notes to play with than just an A minor pentatonic scale. So guys, the sun is rising, by looks of it, um, and I'll see you guys on my normal lessons uh, when I get back. So I hope you have a good uh, Easter. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, uh, before I go, don't forget to uh, post a comment down below if you've got any questions. And uh, thanks for the support.